Hello guys, nice Spectre here, bringing you another League of Legends cast zero minutes into the game as always, and again, we're on the North American servers because, as always, the European ranked servers are not working as of now. It's my bad, I always cast when it's late, this is the only time of the day that I can cast anyway. So let's go over the teams quickly, shall we? As you can see right about now, you have Singe just strolling about, he'll be on top, he'll be a menacing threat indeed, he'll be assisting Lee Sin, who will be jungling, who is for now just running around, he hasn't leveled a single ability yet, so he's being safe. He might level the Sonic Wave just to get some uh, increased vision, if he wants to go for an invade, we'll see. We have ha uh, Heimerdinger, I mean Viger, who will be the mid laner. Hasn't leveled an ability as well. Olaf is prancing about though, so they need to be careful. Sivir will be the AD carry. She is also in with the team. And then last, but by no means least, Morgana as a support. So, apparently blue team is going for an invade. They might find himself in Olaf. He is not paying attention. He is running for now. Does he have flash? Yes, indeed. Flash is over the wall and escapes with his life. Uses an undertow just to get some vision on where they are. But Olaf's flash is burnt now, which is an issue. Are they going for a steal? They are not, because, well, to be honest, Fiddle might know if they go for it. Oh, nice little binding there, coming down from purple team. As you can see, mid lane will be, no, this will be a support Lux. Sorry for that. Support Lux, everybody. Combined with Lucian, who will be the AD carry. Fiddlesticks will be jungling, it's been a while. I, I actually did cast a jungle fiddle recently, so it's a bit, it hasn't been that long, but we tend to see him a lot more as a support. Does blue relatively quickly, thanks to the help of his friends. And there you have it. I said there you have it. Ooh, did use a drain there. Nidalee will be a middle E. Will be farming quite well. Did get a baleful strike onto her face, that was weird. You normally, as a Viger, want to farm with that ability because every time you get a loss hit with it, you get bonus gold. Oh my, your loss hits aren't working out. And <laughs> We'll see. Get this one, get this one. Nope, using baleful strike once more just for pure aggressiveness. Ah oh well, he'll know it better than I do, I suppose. Olaf and Cinch are having fun. Olaf very low on the mana though. So it's both two binding supports here. This is going to be great. Whoever hits the binding first will be able to do the most damage, I suppose. Though I must say that Morgana's level 6 is very scary. If she gets in the middle of you, you'll all die. It's a very good support ability as well, thanks to the stunning effect that you'll get through it. Oh, looky here, a fling onto the Olaf. Oh my. That's a lot of light. It hurts, doesn't it? Also, a nice support ability for Morgana is, of course, the Black Shield, which will negate spell effects as long as the shield holds, and it will, of course, absorb spell damage. Olaf now in a little bit of trouble. He does not have flash, gets ignited. There is a resonating strike onto his face. He will probably die, but Morgana instead is going to need to flash away as Olaf is still running to safety. Is he going to be able to survive? I don't think so. Fiddle is approaching. Olaf will be given the first blood, though. Bottom lane did force the Morgana away. But nobody died here. Then again, what I, did I say? If the Binding lands, you will die. But that's a lot of damage just coming down from the Lucian in general. Vaga going to last it? Yes, indeed. A uh, great job, indeed. Lux, of course, has kind of the same uh, supporting effects as Morgana. As I said before, of course, the double binding. But she also has a prismatic barrier, which also works as a shield. Then again, Prismatic Barrier blocks everything. Nice stun coming down from Viger. A lot of damage coming through onto Nidalee, who is forced to flash away. Will heal herself, but the Ignite combined with the red buff is just too much to handle. Flash away by Lee Sin. Viger was tanking the turret, so lucky there. A great combination play by Blue Team there. Getting a quick kill, giving them the 2-0 this early on in the game. So already is there going to be a small lead for Blue Team. However, fret not. As, of course, Purple Team's bottom lane is doing quite a good job. Farm-wise, they are very far ahead, but Lee Sin is going to try and make something happen here. He is in the brush behind. They do not know. Mm, well, they do now. Yeah, a little bit of a giving away there by the bottom lane team there. But is at the very least, 
forced a purple team away from this giant minion. So if he can't farm that one, then he might get set. A binding lands though, but they are not forced to get in. Lee Sin is approaching ever so slowly. Boomerang Blade doing tons of damage on Lux there. Yeah, you can't get binded by this team as well, or else you will take a beating. Lee Sin is now finally recalling, so this might be the cue for purple team to uh, get massive and do tons of damages. We'll see. Ward being placed down by Lucian, binding Miss in there. That is a black shield gone, so blue team forced to back away just a little bit. Of course, Sivia does have a spell shield of her own, so she could still block an ability. She is instead going to block the Lucian Singularity there. Giving her some mana, so that's awesome. Fiddlesticks is approaching, he is not spotted yet. There is a ward in this brush though, so if he is going to walk into it, he's going to get spotted real hard. Oh, the ward just disappeared! Oh no, he can just walk in it, really. Lee Sin is there too, but they can bait us out, they can bait us out real hard. Fiddle going in, flashing forward though, not really what you want to do. Lee Sin with the resonating strike, gets knocked into a binding, the boomerang blades are going through everywhere. Fiddle needs to run away, he needs to dodge the sonic wave though, will he be able to dodge it? He did! Lux did get hit by it, but I don't think Lee Sin will go that far in. So nobody dying there, Sevier almost, well pretty much everyone almost. Lucian will try and hit an ability from afar maybe to try and hit her but it's too dangerous literally trying to land the spear won't hit Viger is level 6 so he can pretty much uh, one shot her especially if she only has this much ability uh, health left and she knows it every time Viger walks closer towards her she is running away barrier should be off cooldown relatively soon though so Nidalee just needs to be patient heal herself up farm some raves why not Lucian is still farming as well. Sevier had to back away, she was way too low. And now Morgana is low as well, so it will be only him in this lane. He'll probably back off once he gets these minions though. Ah, White! You bastard. He scares me every day. So, Fiddlefing's blue is about to spawn, and he is correct for that matter. However, I think he's going for the wolves first. No? You're going to wait for it? Ah, very spot on. Well, it's normally, if you do it quickly, it's at 7 and 20 seconds, and I forgot how quickly they did it, but they did it relatively quickly. As well as Lee Sin, his red has bound now. So that is going to be a red buff for Lee Sin, and a blue buff for Fiddlesticks. Which means no blue buff for Nidalee, though. So she might have some issues in the lane, because Viger will probably have a blue buff. Nice binding. Though a great shield by Lux as well, trying to negate most of the damage. So, it depends. Uh, Viger can push lanes pretty quickly if he uses his uh, Dark Matter to farm. But I'm not too certain whether or not he wants to do that. Because, as I said before, you want to use Baleful Strike to increase your ability power as much as possible by last hitting with it. For now, he has been last hitting pretty decently with it. 16 minion kills with the Baleful Strike. Now it's probably 17. Oh no, Cinch, you're not going to be quick enough, or are you? Well, with the Ghost, of course he is. Them going straight dodging the Spear from Nidalee there. Levels up, so he gains even more health. But it's not over yet, or is it? Viger doing blue there, Nidalee almost stealing it. She's not alone, though. Fiddle is level 6. They have vision onto the position of both Viger and Lee Sin. They might go for a surprise here. Fiddle, however, did walk on a ward, so he needs to back off immediately. Lee Sin is able to kill him if needed be. Singed might die here, Nidalee going in with the flash, however she is taking a lot of turret shots, will not get the last shot in, so a quick kill by Nidalee, great play indeed. And that is why Singed need to be a little bit more careful. It is easy to do as a Singed, being overconfident, being cocky, thinking I can't die, I'm a Singed. But if you don't have your insanity potion, then it might not work. Lee Sin almost catching Nidalee, but no, she's a gooner. She's a gunner. Bottom lane is getting pretty far away though. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage coming through by the Viger onto the Fiddle. Of course, with the ultimate dodges away from uh, the Undertow. But guess what? I can flash, mate. I can flash as well. So a great kill there by Olaf, giving him a double buff. Apparently. Oh yeah, of course, because Fiddle had double buff. So that will work out for him. Lee Sin is approaching, but I do not believe Lee Sin has what it takes. He is level 6 though, but nah, you don't have what it takes to fight an Olaf underneath a turret. You fool. 
Oh, Luck's taking a kill there. Nidalee versus Singe doing tons of damages onto him. Singe running away. He is going to initiate the Insanity Poison, but Nidalee will be a kitty pretty damn soon. One more pounce will give the kill, and there you have it. Nidalee needs to heal immediately. She will Primal Surges for full health, and well, this lane switch is working out quite well. Oh, they're not going to lane switch for eternity though. It was only because Olaf was in the middle. Oh my god, Morgana with the ultimate going through. The culling will not be enough, or will it? Sivir trying to dodge away the ignite ticking through. Morgana needs to auto attack only twice. Will it be enough? Oh my god, one auto attack should have, would have been enough there. Fiddle is approaching from afar. He is going to ult. It should be a kill and a flash for the certainty. That is the kill. The all kill for the bottom lane. Only Fiddle remaining. However, Fiddle is in a lot of trouble. Does he notice this? He does not. He is going to get caught by Lee Sim and Viger coming in from above. He is running away. Dodges the Sonic Wave very nicely. Uses Terrify, but he can't escape. He knows where the Viger is. He doesn't want to give him an assist. However, Lee Sin will probably be able to slow him down for all eternity to give the assist to Viger. Tries to flash kick him, but he will give... Oh my, he keeps going. He keeps going. No assist for you, Viger. So Viger did waste a little bit of time there. He didn't do anything, his lane is now being pushed, and well, Nidalee is just posing about. Hmm, that's a very deep ward coming down from Viger. He doesn't have other wards in his inventory, and oh my, a quick kill on top apparently. However, we're going to the bottom lane where there is a little fight, and then we're going to check on out. So, yeah, just a little bit of peel damage, I suppose. Olaf, of course, has a red buff, so that means that he can harass Singe quite hard and slow him down, and, of course, do some bonus damages on his auto attack. So, if an Undertow is able to land, then what he can do is just go ham onto the Singe, which he is going to do. Uses Ragnarok, goes for the Ignite to negate most of his regeneration, and there you had it. A very quick kill, and an easy kill at that. Then we go back to the bottom lane where the Binding did not land, so it should just be a farm lane. However, a Binding wants to be hit there by Deluxe, will not succeed in doing so though. Ah, the lane pusher, Sivir. You cannot prevent her from pushing this lane. Not even if you try. Olaf now all alone gets of course bonus mo uh, attack speed, the lower HHP is, so this tower is a long gone. So Olaf might become an issue here, he is very strong indeed, works really well against this team because the crowd control is coming down from Viger, which you can see right about now, it's just too much! Yeah, that's just, the primordial burst is just too much to handle if you have ability power, and nowadays supports do have a lot of ability power because of their itemization and their money gain. So, yeah, even as a support, that Primordial Burst will kill you immediately. Fiddle does have his Cross Storm ready, so if the blue team gets a little bit overzealous, they might get caught in it, but only if they turret dive. What Lucian can do, however, is get caught by the Binding and try to bait them in, but they aren't diving, so, yeah, they're not going for it. Maybe they are. Lucian is baiting it out rather nicely, though. But it's cost... Yeah, no, they're pinging. Nidalee gives it away. They are backing off immediately. A pity. They, they might have been able to do something now. They, they, the only thing the red team did was waste a little bit of time. And even get more damage onto their turret. Pings are going towards the dragon. Viger is again moving towards the bottom. A nice little reflex there by the Lucian player. Dodging away for today. Viger again approaching. Coming in from the rear. They don't have any wards, so they can't see it. Fiddlesticks is approaching as well, though. No, he's returning to... He, he doesn't know what he's going to do. So I think he's going for the white. Yes, indeed. Viger it doesn't know what to do as well. They don't know where Nidalee is, so he has no reason at all to be in the middle, except, of course, to farm. Binding will miss. This Binding, however, will hit. This might be it. The ultimate coming through by Morgana, but taking a lot of damage because of it, though. Viger now coming in. Fiddle is going to try an avenge kill, but he does not have flash. He won't be able to catch up, but the bouncing, bouncing birdies from the Dark Wind might have been enough. But nope, there was a minion wave just shortly after to catch up most of the damage there. A pity. Fiddle did use his ultimate there for no avail at all. He already recalled. Lux trying to hold his line, but it won't work. She needs to back away immediately. 
Primordial Burst is still off cooldown. Nidalee tried to do whatever she could. Oh, is going straight for the Singe, but guess what? There's a Lee Sin there as well, trying to do as much damage as possible. The Ignite coming through, though, she flashes away to safety. Will she dodge the Sonic Wave, though? Nope, she will not, and therefore she will die. Olaf is approaching from the rear. Singed was relatively low, so Olaf only needs to fear the Lee Sin. Will Lee Sin fear him, though? Lee Sin wants to safeguard towards his ally, but he gets terrified in the process. The silence is not enough. Viger now approaching. Will slam to stun and primordial burst to his smithereens. There is no escape from this little guy. You'll get flinged towards the Viger and give him another kill. Oh no, flash away, Viger with the auto attack and another auto attack, Baleful Strike is all he needs and there he goes for a quick kill, some bonus ability power as well. I think he got about, I don't know, 6 bonus ability power from that, yep. And he's going straight into the chimney. Love that skin. It's probably going to be on sale relatively soon and probably already when I upload this, so check it out, it's a good one. It'll be off sale after that, so enjoy it. Nidalee trying to go hard onto the Morgana. The culling will not hit. Oh, will it? it? Oh, so close. The spear needs to land from Nidalee. Well, never mind. The Lux laser will. I don't think the javelin toss would have landed there. Since going to recall, Nidalee knew where he was, but I don't think she is going for a blind javelin toss. No, she will not. She gets spotted by the wards, though, so Viger is approaching, will land to stun, and Lee Sin, of course, follows it up with an easy Sonic Wave with Resonating Strike, and the barrier will not be enough. The Ignite will kill you. And if not, then the Resonating Strike would have. Speedster Olaf, but himself a zeal, is now no longer uh, over-farming the Singed, though, so they're ignoring Singed, and he's enjoying it. He is a very squishy Singed, though. Lee Sin gets caught by binding and won't be anything at all. They still need to... Yeah, Event Horizon is just too much of a threat. It's it's such a great team fight ability as well, which is why I hate it that Vyga doesn't get played more in the competitive scene. Lee Sin going deep there, but why not? He has the backup of his allies. They're all there, all in the middle, and there's nothing for you to do. Olaf getting caught here. Will he be able to escape? He has Ragnarok, of course, if needed be. His team now assisting and Lee Sin safeguarding away. He's now going for a dragon. Spotted by a ward, though. Spotted by two wards, even. So they need to do this quickly, or else they will die. Phil going in, though. Get stunned. The ultimate will not go through. Resonating. Oh, everywhere. Lee Sin trying to run away. Will succeed. The ultimate of Morgana going through everyone. Lil no Olaf dying immediately, but so will Morgana. But she is the support. A nice little spear there by Nidalee. Will go in with the swipe, trying to kill them all. Oh, but she won't get anyone. They're all flashing away. Resonating Strike might be dangerous. Instead, she's going for Cougar form. Trying to get closer, but there are minions blocking the spear. You will not get anyone there. She is still trying to go for it, though. Vaga running away, but it should not be a threat. Will Nidalee... No. What? Ah, oh, she could have gotten her. Mispredicted there. They're just standing at the tower. Ah, oh, a pity. So that team fight could have gone way better for Red Team. Instead, of course, it's a pity that both Lee Sin and, of course, Sevier flashed away from Nidalee the minute she used Swipe. A great Dragon Rage by Lee Sin, by the way, or else it wouldn't have worked. It also interrupted the calling from the... Oh, Terrify. And an Olaf, so that's an eternal slow for you. And you won't be able to escape this Olaf, but they also won't be able to kill Singed, apparently, even with two. Olaf now returns to the fight, will get ignited in the process, Singe doing a lot of damage. Fiddle is approaching, but it won't be enough. The ignite goes down, though. Will Fiddle's damage be enough? The ignite ticking, but the regeneration is too much. Fiddle doesn't have any damages. He can't do it. He can't catch up to the Singed as well. So it was a 2v1 in a way, but Singed was still able to play. And now they need to be very careful, for the Sin is approaching. The sticky adhesive will slow down the Fiddle. Combined with the Resonating Strike will mean that he will need to run away immediately. Try to drain the Singed, but it won't work. The Fling will knock him up. A nice binding there, but Singed has reduced tenacity. And oh my god, that Viger damage was insane. Lisa now safeguards to safety. Will dodge. Nice dodges there by Nidalee. Flashes away. Baleful Strike onto the face. But guess what? Event Horizon means you're dead. Viger is legendary and there is no escape. My god, the damage coming from this little guy is just too much to handle. 
and the blue buff for Sivir because her damage ability is one of the highest in the game, especially around level 11. So this is becoming a smackdown for blue team really, they are about, man I'm bad at counting, 4000 plus 2000 is 6000 gold ahead. Yes, nice counting there Night Spectre, Moth with Night Spectre, enjoy. Dragon is still alive, Sivir might go for it, I think she's strong enough by now to take it for herself. But it's too dangerous, she doesn't know where the enemy team is. Blue buff again, given to Viger. He already has two finished needlessly large rod items and it's only been 20 minutes. His farm is insane. Well, his champion farm is insane. His other farm is actually pretty basic, really. He's being outfarmed by pretty much everyone on red team except Olaf, who is slacking a little bit. He has been showing a little bit more presence throughout the map though. And he had to, his team is losing a little bit, so he has to show his awesome beard to the enemies, or else they will pulverize his team even more. Lee Sin coming in from behind will get binded though, and then quickly safeguards two awards to get closer to Nidalee, but Nidalee is just everywhere on the map, there is no escape. Lots of wards though by blue team. Are they going for the poke fight? Because that won't work. Lee Sin, uh, Singed is coming in from the rear towards Nidalee. Will they be able to get it? No, they will not. Two wards for a single bush, really. Ooh, big damage coming through onto Sivir, but she has lifesteal, so I don't think she cares all that much. She will need to be careful, though, if she gets hit by another spear. Well, guess what? Event Horizon is your doom. Nidalee will die immediately. The calling coming through on everyone, but it's not enough. It gets blocked by the Sin mostly. Olaf now approaching, will come through, is able to slow the Sivir, but he gets his dragon raged away by the Elise Sin, so I don't think he can catch up. Since just passing through, taking a lot of damage there from a red team, but it won't be enough. Olaf gets a kill onto the Morgana. And nothing more, Sivir getting the kill onto Olaf in return. So a hectic fight, but Nidalee dying immediately once more to the Heimerding, uh, the Viger. And personally there wasn't all that much she could do. Did she even use her barrier there? I think she did. She even used, no she didn't use flash, however she almost got out of there, but Primordial Burst combined with uh, the... That fire grasp is just too much for her to handle for now. Does she go for magic resistance? I don't know. She already went for a teen's unholy grail, which was which gives her a little bit of magic resistance, but not a lot, and apparently not enough. But I truly believe that she needs to go for a quicksilver sash because those stunts from ha Viger will only become longer and longer as the game progressed. Maybe he leveled it first, most people do, yes indeed, Event Horizon is already level 5, which means that the stun is 2 seconds and a half, one of the longest stuns in the game. Ooh, almost nice steal there by Lux, but it didn't work, Nidalee then throwing down a javelin onto the Viger. We'll see whether or not it will work, Nidalee running away. Binding gets negated by the Black Shield. Lee Sin finds himself a juicy target. The juicy target flashes away, but they do not want to fight. Whew. Dark Binding barely hits there by Morgana, but it won't work. Singed again coming in from the rear. Nidalee doing a lot of damage onto Morgana. She is forced to back away. Nidalee trying to hit the, uh, the Javelin onto Seaver as well, but she's too quick with the Spell Shields. Farm away for today. Hop, hop. So what can purple team do? I don't really know. Maybe they could start a poke war, which they might, well, they should win because they have better poke in general. You have the Nidalee, of course. You have Fiddle with Dark Wind. You have Lux with the Bindings and Lucent Singularity. And you even have Lucian, who can poke quite a bit as well. Olaf can use Undertoes, but that's a little bit too expensive to keep throwing at people. The thing is, if... A Viger is able to land a Event Horizon or Morgana is able to land Dark Binding, you are dead. You cannot escape. The thing is also that because the uh, blue team has Morgana, she can use Dark Binding and therefore negate the crowd control that might come from purple team. A nice little javelin though. Makes it so that Morgana is down to half. Fiddle going in though, trying to initiate, will survive. Primordial Burst wasn't enough from Viger there. Of course Fiddle did get some magic resistance with the Void, uh, void Staff, the Abyssal Scepter there. So yeah, it might work out for 
blue team. If they continue to get such catches, then it will work. I do believe that in the end game they are on equal footing, if not ahead. Olaf going through now. Nidalee with a nice javelin touch onto the Viger. Will get a quick kill. Olaf wants to get the Sivir. Nice javelin touch once more. Double kill by Nidalee. Since this running havoc mean at the meantime. And to the squishies from a red team. And well, there is a Lee Sin as well. Olaf wants to go in hard though. Gets slowed a little bit by the sticky adhesive. But not that much. So overall it was a win for purple team. Great. They're still more than 6,000 gold behind. Well, not more anymore, just 6,000 gold behind. No, 7,000. Learn how to count, Night Spectre. So I was correct. Math with Night Spectre. Don't do math, kids. It's bad for you. No matter what you see in Breaking Bad, don't do it. Rabadon's death cap been completed by Nidalee, so her spears will do even more damage now. Viger is going for what I believe will either be a Void Staff or a Haunting Geist. We'll see. He's 10 to 2, so he's pretty far ahead on the Nidalee as well as pretty much everyone else. Keep in mind that Nidalee is out farming the Viger pretty hard. Also, if I keep calling Viger Heimerdinger, I'm sorry, they remind me of each other. Clearing wards with Morgana. Haha! <laughs> That's how you do it. Red buff been stolen by a severe. Oh my. That's not what you want. That's not what you want as all for as purple team. Woo! Viger flashed away from a javelin there. It couldn't have killed him. It it would have done a lot of damage, but it couldn't have killed him. A nice slow there by Olaf. I think if he didn't do that, then Viger would have used Event Horizon onto the Lucian player there. Nidalee Spear not doing that much damage onto Lee Sin, however he does have a Locket of the Iron Solari, so he's able to negate it a little bit. Oh, but he also gives magic resistance to his team though. Sevier trying to... Ooh my, yeah, you can't win a poke fight against this team, you just can't. Nidalee alone is enough apparently. Viger trying to go for a cheeky event horizon, will not land it. Lee Sin misses the Sonic Wave, so blue team now under run. Olaf not landing the undertow, but it is it is purple team now pushing through. They are trying to pull a hat now, trying to take maybe a turret out of this, or at least force a fight there, trying to poke them down even more. Fiddle is at a great position. Too bad there aren't that many bushes there, but he has perfect control over the bush. And now Nidalee can just throw blind spears towards his enemies. Singed goes in deep though, Lucian gets caught a little bit, uses the calling to try and forces the Singed and Lee Sin away, but it won't work, Dragon Range to, to, to control, Fiddle going in with a birthday present though, but nearly got caught by the Viger there, now it's Fiddle getting hit by a lot of damage there, and that was just a baleful strike, Olaf now dying, the only survivor is Lux, because I don't think Fiddle will survive, and that is the ace for blue team, a very quick kill there, nobody dying there, for blue team and they just forced the fight there they didn't do nothing they just ran towards their enemies and killed them that is all now it is Lee Sin tanking the Baron hopefully he'll be able to tank through and not die for his team he's now going to give the aggro towards his teammates he needs to be careful still and whoop, a Nasher for blue team this is looking bad for red team as I am getting a little bit more nasal well, maybe I'm still a little bit sick, but the show must go on eventually. I've been AFK for quite some time. Damage is coming through, but not enough damage. A pity indeed. But it's it's pretty much always the case with Lucians. Their auto attacks aren't all that impressive if you compare it to others. But that's mostly because they rush Trinity Forces first, but not this one. Well, he's going for it now, I think. He does have a zeal. We'll see. He has a lot of farm. I'll commemorate him for that. Bings are coming through. Both teams are interested in the dragon. However, if if the fight is I don't think I personally don't think red team can fight in a in, in a jungle area. They can't. If they even get caught in a laning phase as easily as that, then fighting at dragon is just suicide. Nice spear coming through by Nidalee though. That was a high-end spear, but Lee Sin was able to negate most of the damage. He has, of course, bought a Negatron Cloak as well, so he won't feel anything at all from these spears. And Blue Team is just forcing Red Team out of their own jungle, so yeah, they can't really do anything. All they can do is pretty much turtle up, throw all their 
ranged spells towards their enemies and hope they land and then get kills out of it without engaging in a fight because they can't win a team fight. They are more than 10,000 gold behind. It's like 14,000 gold. That's a lot of gold. We're only 30 minutes into the game. Ooh, Binding Langdon there on Lux. Will they fight for it though? Yes, they will. Boomerang Blade coming through, getting a quick kill. Olaf already using Ragnarok as well to just negate. Oh my, nice flash coming through by Lee Sin, but a great flash as well by Nidalee. Trying to run away. There's no escape, Lucian. Viger knows where you are. Double kill for the Viger. And that's your outer turret. Your inner turret destroyed. Nidalee now gets caught by a Binding Boomerang Blade again. And the Ace. For Lee Sin, the second ace in the game for blue team, as Sin just quickly killed the fiddle there. So this will probably be game. I can't see how red team can actually catch up from this. Blue team will continue to push on. Surrender hasn't come through yet, but you're more than 20,000 gold behind by now. You can't catch up to this, not with a poke comp. Not like this. So, yep, Nex is now going to get destroyed very quickly by Blue Team. A very great game for them indeed. Dominating really hard. The power of carry by Viger. And, well, everyone on the team did great. Lee Sin did great. Viger did great. Heck, even bottom lane and top lane did great. A pity for Red Team. I love to see Middle East, as you all know. They had a nice poke comp as well. They weren't able to use it in time, though. The minute they finally banged well, work together and try to poke the team down, they were already too far behind because blue team could just force any fight they wanted. Regardless, guys, I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Whatever it is, I'll do. Whenever it is, I'll do it. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.